Hello everyone and welcome to this Minecraft video. Today what I'm going to do is I'm kind of just going to show you guys how I build in Minecraft basically. This is not a build tutorial. This is just kind of what I do and what I think about when creating build palettes and all that type of stuff. I'm, I'm not doing this on Familycraft or on any other type of world that you have seen on my channel before. I'm doing this on my creative test world, <laughs> so there are some things on here that you will recognize from Family Craft, of course. Some random things that you probably have never seen and will never see again. Um, some redstone things, some technical things, but all around it's just a bunch of builds that I've created that I wanted to test out before doing anything. So I wanted to kind of go through this and I figured because this is my creative test world it would make the most sense to build here <laughs> so um yeah so I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of just show you what I do show you how I create build palettes um I will warn you beforehand that I am no master at this this is just I like building that's it <laughs> like it's I'm just it's what I do I love to build and I want to be good at different things in Minecraft, like I would love to be good at PvP and all that type of stuff, and I'm working on getting good at it, but the thing that really stuck with me and really, like, it, it started with building for me. I have been a builder since the first Minecraft world that I ever created. Which, speaking of the first Minecraft world, I had been thinking the other day, like, I really was, like, from the very first world that we created when we first bought minecraft which was in beta we i was i was i was playing minecraft in beta like that's how long i've been playing this game but like ever since that world i've been i've been a builder like i i created there was a mountain uh this is the first base i ever created that i remember um and there was a mountain um just in in, in the world next to a forest and what I did was I took down like part of the side of the mountain and I made a, a glass side that just replaced it and it wasn't like flat I or not ice flat glass it was like it, it like went with the terrain like so I've been a terraformer <laughs> since the beginning um the second base that I remember is a world where we um, had a bunch of family. It was basically family craft, but it was like Halverson and Wallfly and Grey Tiger and I were all playing on that world. On that world, what I had done is we had a we had an area like it was a lot like this. Um, there was a warehouse right here. There was Wallfly's house and Halverson's house right here. Grey Tiger 5's house was right across the street. And then what I did is I went over and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna be rebellious and I'm gonna go over here and go up this hill. And I made a cute little house at the top of the hill. And it, it's like, I, it's like, there's just things from those worlds that I remember. Like I remember trying to mine and then I heard a zombie and I completely got super scared and <laughs> just left. I was like, nope, I'm done. No more mining for me. But I was totally up for building and I did it all the time. And so because of that, I feel like I'm pretty, pretty eligible to kind of show you what I do because I've been doing it for a while um, and I do it a lot. And if you haven't seen Family Craft, um, then you won't get this reference, but I do huge things <laughs> so anyways let's 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 get started okay so first what I usually do is I usually go through not in a creative menu but usually in my brain and what I do is I look for blocks that look really good together and there are like some blocks that like it's just you know they go good together like let's let's say you get this stone brick You're like oh what would look really good with that well and sight and the reason being is because they, they look like they look so similar and then you could shake it up a bit and get regular andesite this is polished andesite <laughs> i guess i should get my blocks right but like 
there's a reason that these all look together it's because they're the same shade the same color and the same shade of that color but they are not completely the same that is different than these things with this because there's no texture on that and then you get this one oops not that one that one and like yeah it looks okay but it's like suddenly like these all go together because they're the same color these go together because they're the same texture these go together because they're not the same exact texture but then when you add them all together it's just like yeah it looks good but it's not it's not the best you know so that's the first thing I would do is texture texture plays a big part in this and it's an easy one to fulfill because every block has so many different things like even like granite and diorite like they they look very similar but the texture is different yeah they're different colors but if you look at the texture like it's similar but it's very different so texture has a big part in this the second point i would always try and go for is color color both going together and not going together so the biggest thing for me like whenever wallfly is building something and he's like hey yo missy can you like does this look good <laughs> he'll ask me that every once in a while and i'll be like yeah it looks good but you could also do this because it contrasts that's always my point is contrast for some reason I love contrast so like you can build something with these with sand like let's say it's like a that's the ground and then this is the walls of your house and then you could get this which is the um, like the corners of the house like this part right here on this building um, and it's just they, they look good but you need something that has good texture, has a good color, and does isn't like completely weird like, I don't know, purple. <laughs> I don't think purple would go very well with this. But you also need it to contrast, so you don't want it to be yellow. So you don't want to go like, oh, this is a really weird example, but like, yeah, they're, they're, they're very similar. And then there's yellow, which is different, but it's not different enough. It's just... It just doesn't go well and also the texture <laughs> compared to these these are very smooth textures and then there's this which is like boom in your face so that's not a good one so what you need to do is you need to go through and you can go in a creative world but what you can do is you can replace this block with something like this and then it gets the dark things to pop so if you just do so like this like yeah that, that looks good but then you add this and then like the dark shades on that birch log not log plank really stand out well if you take it away it's like oh it's just a big bright block <laughs> and so that's what i did over here is when i created this i had these colors and this was the main thing and then i was like oh we can kind of contrast that with this and then I can't remember I was going to do color oh the color this is a big thing for me is oh it's not in here adding leaves this is commonly my color is just adding green because it always looks so good and then at, if you're looking at this like you have the gray and then you have your brighter color and then you have your contrast right here which is the roof and there you can see it all together and then when you just add the green like it's just it's crazy how much you can add so you gotta go for the texture of the block you gotta go for the color of the block and you gotta go for the contrast in those blocks that's the biggest thing for me is contrast um both in color and in texture because like this this looks good together because there's this and this and then this which is not a super busy block um texture wise so it it it, it goes um and there's not too much of it which is another thing like you just have to be careful like you can't be like ooh, i want to build with a sponge and then just place it everywhere because that doesn't look amazing <laughs> you know like you can't overuse blocks some blocks you can um and i think spruce is definitely one of them for me i use spruce a ton 
an andesite, but like you can't, you don't want to overuse a block too much. And then there's decorations, which is in the decoration blocks, which leaves number one decoration for me. Num like top tier, definitely go for leaves. I always do leaves in my family craft base. I have a ton of trees everywhere. There are a ton of different leaves, but I, for some reason, I like dark oak leaves because you can get a ton of them and they don't change color. So this one, I think there, there's some that change color. Oak does and birch does, and this is jungle and it definitely does. Like it's not the bright green that's in the biome. Um, birch just looks a little bit too bland and then this is a cool color if it was in the right scenario so these are definitely my favorites dark oak and spruce but I commonly go for the dark oak over anything and then on top of leaves you can also do flowers a lot of times I'll do red flowers so mostly red tulips um, I also like to use white flowers and now there are so many different decoration blocks like all of the coral which I think I say I use red yellow and blue the most if I were to use coral I also like sugarcane the uh, one thing about that is you do need water which whatever not a big deal but I just built something in my family craft base which I don't know if you have seen it yet I don't think you guys have so I'm going to be making a video on that pretty soon but I put sugarcane everywhere and it looks so cool. And so you kind of just, you gotta choose for yourself and you'll have different situations like underwater with seagrass, or maybe you'll be in the nether and you'll need to use all the nether things, or maybe you'll use a wither rose, like in a, uh, like a haunted type thing. Like you don't want it to be bright and happy. It needs to be all dark and sad. And then you can do that and do it dead bush with it like you just oh i can't place it wait do i need sand yes you do need sand i did not know that but like you know like it depends upon your scenario and then the last thing that i always need is movement like it's it's crazy how like how much it movement changes your build um and i find movement in water um whether it's just a pond that's just moving, like the texture of it is moving, or a waterfall or a fountain. This, like just water. I have a lot of water at my base and it's, it makes a big difference. Other things you can add are fish in the water. And then another huge thing is animals. Uh, if you haven't seen my family craft base, which you totally should go check it out, I have a ton of animals everywhere and I go so far as to like not color code but like use the animals in the base so if I have like let's say this hut I have this brown hut with a, s a few things inside of it and then I want to have an animal pen outside I will make the pen is I don't know where fences are. Where's fences? Is it in decoration block? Okay, yes it is. I don't spend enough time in creative. I don't know where everything is. But let's say I need an animal fence and I'm just like, you know what? I want it to look like this, this fence to look like the house, but I want the animal to kind of stand out. Like you don't want it to be like, oh, there's a cow, which is the same exact color as the house. No. <laughs> What I'll do is I'll go and I'll be like, hmm, pigs are brightly colored. They don't look brown. <laughs> that looks awesome. <laughs> so anyways, now that we have done that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a quick house. I'm not necessarily going to commentate on everything that I do. I'm just going to build something and just kind of explain why I did that. I'm also going to try and use blocks that I haven't used on Family Craft in case you guys have been watching that. I'm going to have access to the creative menu, so I'm going to be able to use any of this, but it's going to just be a quick little starter house that I'm going to build. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my 
main block, which I think I'm going to use birch. Let's try that out. And I'm just going to start by creating the actual house. I'm not going to do a super huge house just because I don't want to take up too much time. So it's just a quick seven by seven little house um, that is not all the way built. We just got the outline of it and we need to create the walls. It's going to be one story, not, not super tall. Now if there's anything that I'm not good at when it comes to building, it's roofs. I don't know what it is, but I'm just not good at roofs. Normally what I would do is I would see that this is a bright color and I'd go, oh, I want to build with nether bricks. And it looks amazing because there's such a big contrast. However, in Family Craft Season 1, I did this exact build palette. So I'm going to challenge myself and not use nether bricks. Go check out that season if you want to see how it turned out. I thought it turned out pretty good, if I do say so myself. Now I know these are still nether objects, but this looks amazing. And this is an even better contrast. So I'm going to finish the rest of the roof, but I'm just going to talk really quickly about why I chose black stone or smooth, sweet, polished black stone brick. Why did I choose that with this birch? Well, first of all, um, texture, texture is a big thing. That's the first point is it looks good together. I mean, it's, this is a fairly busy block and this is also a fairly busy block. This one I would say is a little bit more busy, but it's not like no texture and then a ton of texture. Like it's, it looks good. It's not too much and it's not too little. Second point, color. The colors do not match at all, but that's fine because three, contrast is what really like makes this block combination really pop. One quick tip for building roofs is be careful when placing this last one, especially on roofs like this, because if you place it down here, mobs can spawn right there and then you have to light up your roof. But if you place it right here, it kind of finishes the peak and no mobs can spawn on your roof. So you only have to worry about the floor and on the inside of your house. Now I am going to finish this roof. I'm going to do the interior later, but I like having a smooth roof on the inside as well as on the outside. So I usually put stairs or slabs, whichever is going is looking the best at that point in time. Um, I usually put those around the top. So here is our house so far. We got the walls and the roof. Um, we have no decoration to it whatsoever. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to pick the door because we don't want things coming in our house. Now the thing with doors <laughs> is that there are not a ton of options and some of them honestly kind of look ridiculous or like, why would you ever use that? <laughs> so a lot of the time I will just use spruce doors. Um, this is my favorite door and it goes with pretty much anything. Yeah, it's a little bit dark, um, but it's like if you went for a lighter door, it would look too bright. We'll use this birch door for now because I'm challenging myself. Now comes a little bit of um, depth that I'm going to add. So what I like to do is like what with this is put a block back and put a block in the front. Um, it gives a little bit of depth. I'm not going to do too much of that because there's not too much room. But the way that I'm going to do it is I'm going to use fences or walls. I'm going to use sandstone, I believe, because it's similar color. Again, color. This is the big part. It goes with this and the texture. Honestly, there's a ton of texture on this, but it kind of goes with the top with, with the roof enough. So that's 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 what I'm going to do there is um, it's like kind of supporting it. And then what I'm going to do is anywhere that there is a window, which I'm going to just use regular glass, um, I'll put a window right here, let's say. I'm going to put this 
support texture, not texture, depth thing around it. So it gives, it gives the house a little bit more interest. Now, for the sake of symmetry, I'm going to put the window, the same exact window on this side as well. However, on the back side, I don't think I'm going to put any window for now. We'll see how that goes. So we got two windows in this house. It's, it's looking pretty good. I could also raise it. How, how would this look? From the inside, it looks better. From the outside, it looks a little bit weird. But, oops, why did I, wrong button. I'm gonna do it anyways, just to see how it goes. It doesn't look like really bad. It just looks a little bit, a little bit funky to have that, but whatever. Now there are so many ways that you can decorate windows. If I wasn't doing this support thing to the window, I would be able to do so much more. But what I'm going to do for now is because I'm going to, I'm gonna make it seem like kind of a planter. So because of that, I am going to use brick. I know that I said I wasn't going to use brick, but it's, it's like the best, best one. If I could find it, where's the brick stair? I guess I, oh, nope, never mind. I found it. I was about to say I could search it, but whatever. So that's, that, that gives a different color. Oh boy. That actually doesn't look too good with that. That looks a little better. Or what if I used this? I know this is spruce, but spruce looks good with everything. Oh my goodness, that looks so much better. And then what I can do is I can do the, go into the decoration, take a pot, which I don't know where they are. Where's, oh, there's a flower pot. Put a flower pot on this door and then go through and find a cool color which i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to do blue i feel like blue would look really good with this oops and then i'm also going to do dark oak sam saplings i like the look of dark oak saplings in these planters that looks so good it's just it pops <laughs> it's it's color <laughs> but i'm already getting ahead of myself i need to control myself so that's 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 basically the exterior wall done this this looks very bland we need to do something about this but we'll do that when we do the outside i've kind of got carried away with the pots that's, that's always happens to me i always get carried away i'm like i'm gonna do one thing and then I get carried away doing the other thing when it comes to building. So I, I just, I need to get better at it. So anyways, lighting. Lighting is a big deal. I love using lanterns. Lanterns is what I'm going to use, I think, in this build just because it's just, la lanterns are amazing. I'm so glad that they added lanterns because it's just, it's, it, it I like them. <laughs> I don't know what it is about them. And also in this build specifically, like the gray really pops because of the black stone. But anyways, now that we have our lighting, um, we are going to go inside the house and we are going to work on the interior. First of all, floor. We need, we need a floor. Now for this floor, I think we need a uh, smaller amounts of texture because we have a lot of texture right here and on the roof. So we kind of need to bring down the texture just a teensy bit by using probably some sort of stripped wood. The jungle stripped wood has a tiny hint of pink to it, but I honestly think it doesn't look too bad. And there's our floor. Now what we could do with this floor is we could do something a little bit fancy and we could make it checkered, which doesn't really help with the texture part of things <laughs> but it's it gives it a different character and it doesn't look like just a floor like I actually put work into this floor and I think it looks pretty good in my builds my floors are typically around the same color or brighter than the walls and then the roof is usually darker I don't really know why that is it just is but anyways, now what we're going to do is we're going to make this an actual functional house. So I'm going to have 
a chest, a crafting table, some furnaces, and a bed, which <laughs> even bed color I think about. I think about the color of my bed, which I think what I'll actually do is because the flowers outside are blue, I'm gonna do it blue. It doesn't look too bad. Now this is what kind of the average person would do. You know, it's it's functional, it works. This is what I do a lot of the time because I'm not looking for anything special. I just want to get a functional house up when I s start my world. But you can make it look cool by using different diff different tactics. Not tactics, but diff different tips and tricks. So what you would do is you can make it look like these things are on a shelf. But you, you can like try and do a contrast thing or you can match the wall. Typically, I match the wall, I wanna be honest. Um, I wanted to just check out the jungle stairs. They didn't look very good, I didn't like them. So, <laughs> you know, whatever. You, you try some, it just doesn't work out sometimes. And then there's these. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to move these, move these, and get these in the center of the room. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take cobble, not not just the block, I need the stairs and the slabs. Come on, where's, where's the stairs? Why are things so hard to find? And I'm going to make it look like it's like an actual like thing that's, that's going on right here. And then I'm going to use a cobblestone wall and then I'm gonna do a little something that I've did on Family Craft is I'm going to take the uh, campfire and I'm going to take some, I'm gonna take spruce trap doors just because I've used them before. And I put this here and then I hide it. You've got a chimney. Now, usually what I would do is I would kind of offset it a little bit, but because there's actually a thing down there and it's like right in that section, I'm just gonna leave it. You know, it looks good. It looks fine. And then what you can do to kind of decorate the sides because the sides look a little bit bare. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the this and I'm going to do this. And then you can have a crafting table on one side. And then to kind of bring the outside in, I'm going to get a flower pot and a dark oak sapling. Now the reason I'm getting the dark oak sapling is because the blue bed is going to be in here. So the bed is going to bring the blue from the outside in. However, I'm running out of room. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take down this and put that there. And then what I'm going to do is go a step further. And because this isn't quite symmetrical, I'm going to have a nightstand. Because you know, every person needs a nightstand. Right there. And then, because there's like no lighting in here, I'm going to put the lighting on this nightstand. And because this is such a small place, that should be enough lighting for the whole house. I'm not too worried about it. If we really need it, there's light on the outside that is going to be coming in. So there's the interior. Now of course you can decorate walls with paintings. I will get a small painting and put it above the house. Not the house, the door. That's not a small painting. This is not, this is not working out. I said small painting. There we go. However, I want it to kind of contrast a little bit. And there's one, this, this one. It's darker painting in a bright house. This is a very nice little house, but we need the outside to look nice as well as the inside. I mean, yes, you can peek in and you're like, ooh, that looks really good. But now you need the outside. So first step <laughs> is going to be the pathway. I'm just going to do a normal pathway and I'm just going to have just the path blocks. I don't even know what this is called. No, what we need is we need the exterior to be decorated just a teensy bit. Now, step one for me was um, green. I need, I need green. So what I'll typically do is I'll put bushes like this, or I will have vines kind of growing up the house and out. So 
you can kind of do whatever you want. You can do a mixture of both. So this house is looking just a teensy bit overgrown, which you know what is fine. And this is what I was thinking I would do on the back side because I knew that there was going to be extra room back here. So I was going to put grass, not grass, leaves in the back. So there, we added some green. Now what I want to do is I want to add a little bit more color. So we got the blue and the green and then the brights. The, this, that's basically our color palette in that painting. And so what I want to do is I want to do a contrasting color on the outside. That's kind of like, this is all man-made basically, including the pots. So I'm going to do a more subtle, like nature added red into it. Again, this is not a tutorial, so if you aren't liking these touches that I'm adding, like, don't worry about it. You can add your own touches. I'm just kind of showing you what I do when I build. So there, we got we got that. We got the green, we got some nature. Now I need movement. And we've already got movement with the smoke, so we could honestly be done right there. But I do want to add a little bit of water. Um, so I'm going to add a small pond over here. Nothing fancy, nothing huge. Just a, a little thing. It's, it kept getting bigger <laughs> every every second. Um, I'm also going to add animals just to kind of show you how I would add an animal into this build. Um, but now I'm not going to just leave that to be like that. I'm going to actually tie this in by having a small vine right here get more tulips and build, not build, put the tulips around as well. And this cloud is in the way. I, I'm sorry if that gets in the way when revealing this place to you. And then I'm also going to put seagrass and sea pickles. These are my favorite things in a pond, but the sea pickles really make the pond like show up at night. So my movement animals are going to be dogs and fish. So this fish is going to be I'm going to put two in here, um, and they're, they're just random right here. They'll probably be random in your creative world just because, you know, like, you gotta take what you gotta take. So, these guys are gray and yellow and blue, which, honestly, those <laughs> that goes really well. That was not planned at all. Wow, those guys look so good with this. But, like, you, wait, is that blue? Or is that gray? I don't know, whatever. You can't tell because they're underwater anyways. So you're not gonna be looking at the fish and being like, ooh, what color is that? Ooh, that's red. That doesn't match this at all, you know? And then with the dog, what you can do is, you can kind of color code this guy as well. Is you, So you can take the collar of your animals and you can dye them. I'll do this to kind of show that the animal is mine so that if you're playing on a server, you know which is which. But for this purpose, I'm going to be doing blue to match the bed and the flowers and the painting on the inside. So there you have it. That's how I build, you know, like there are things that you can change and things that you might add along the way. Some things you guys may not agree with me on, which is completely fine. This is, again, just how I build, not how you should build as well. This is kind of just giving you ideas for things to do. I will say I did exactly what I do normally, is I just take what I got it and I just build what I want. I don't really plan ahead. I'll plan a little bit ahead, just like to kind of get an idea for what I'm doing. Like for those family craft people, <laughs> this is Skymart um, and it looks a little bit different. And then here's my base and it's just, you, you get different things and you change things here and there. So if I were to build this on the family craft server, I would probably change something because I'm like, oh, I don't remember it looking like that. This would look cool instead. Or, ooh, this looks really cool. I should do this instead, you know. It's just what you got going for you. Now I've been thinking about doing a build tutorial type thing, which I don't want to call them build tutorials because I don't want people to see my builds and be like, oh, I want to copy that block for block, which you can do if you want to, but I want them to be more like build 
guidelines where I kind of just show you an idea for something and then you take my idea and you make it your own. You can do my idea if you want, but it would be fun if you created your own. So let me know if you want those. Um, I'll probably start them and see how they go. And then, yeah. So that's, that's going to be exciting. The first build I'm going to do is kind of revamping your starter home. So if you watch this video, it'll probably be about the same thing-ish. Maybe a little bit different with different blocks. So it'll still be similar, but it'll be different. So I would go check it out if you want to. Um, and if it's up and once it goes up, I will try and remember to put the link in the description so you can go check it out. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. See ya!